All right, guys, in the last video, we looked at the text input component, which gave us just that, an input where we could type in text. Now we're going to look at the slider component, which is uh, a nice little element that we can, we can slide, we can touch and slide, and increase and decrease a value of something. All right, so you've probably seen these in both web and mobile UIs. Now, I wanted to save a little bit of time, so what I did is I took the code in our boiler component, I created a new component called slider component, pasted that in, and then just changed up the name here and here to slider component. And then in and index Android JS, uh, we imported slider component and we put in the, the tag here. All right, just to save a little bit of time. So first thing we want to do is bring in slider from Re uh, React Native. So up here, we're just going to say slider and let's go down to the render and we'll go right above the text here actually let's go right below the text and we'll put in our slider just like that and let's see what that gives us without any properties okay so that's what it gives us now if i go and i click and drag that you can see i can move it around i can move it up i can move it back all right, it's very slow because of the virtual device. If this was on a physical device, this would be much faster. Now, what I want to do is set uh, some default props. So right here, we'll say static default props. And we want a value. And let's set that to three by default. And then I also want a state value, so we're going to pass in props here, here, and inside the state we'll say value props. I'm sorry, not props. This dot props dot value. All right, and then what we want to do is go down here and let's replace this text here with this dot state dot value all right so if we save that that should then change to a three all right and then what we want to be able to do is to move this up and have this value change okay this state value so to do that we're going to go to our slider here and let's add a value Okay, so we're going to say value equals this dot state dot value. Now we want to add an event handler here. We're going to say on value change. And we're going to set that to a set of curly braces. And we're going to do an arrow function. We'll say value as a parameter. And then we're going to call this dot on value change and pass in that value all right and then we're going to go up here and we're going to add that on value change which of course takes in the value and then what we want to do is set the state so this dot set state and we want to set value to the value being passed in. All right, so let's save that. Now, if I go and I, ch and I try to slide this down, you'll see that something kind of weird's happening. So we're getting this zero point and then a bunch of decimal points. That's because we haven't set the value of this slider. We haven't set a min and a max, so it's all it's basically 0 to 1. That's, that's the scale. Even though it started at 3, uh, 3 is not actually on the scale. So what we're going to do is set a mi uh, minimum and a maximum. So let's go to the slider. And we're going to say maximum value. And we're going to set that to, you know what we'll do is we'll put that in the state. So we'll say this dot state. Uh, let's see this dot state dot max and then we'll do the same thing for minimum value 
So minimum value is this dot state dot min. All right, now we want to be able to add these as properties as well. So in our default props, we'll say min, set that to zero and max, we'll set that to five. All right, now we also want to set the step, meaning that each slide, how much do we want that to be? And we want that to be just one. So we'll say step, step one, and we should add that down here as well. So step is going to be this dot state dot step. All right, now right now, our state doesn't have these values. This is all in props. So we need to go up here and set those. So let's say max this dot props dot max um, min props dot min and step this dot props dot step. All right, so let's save that. Okay, now for the state to reset, we're going to just reload with the double R. Sometimes you have to do both. Okay, so now you can see that this looks correct. We know that it starts at zero, ends at five, and we have the value here at three. So if I were to change that down one, it goes to two, goes to one, goes to zero. All right, and it, the highest it can go is five. Okay, so we now have a working slider component. Now, in addition to the event of us actually sliding it, we can also have an event to where we end. Okay, so if, no matter how far we slide, how much we slide, when we end it, when we let go, we can have an event for that. All right, so that is going to be on sliding complete. Okay, and we can do the same type of thing. We'll just grab this. And then we'll have a function called on slide complete. And I'm just going to copy this. Okay, we'll change this to on slide complete. And let's see, in here we'll just say we don't want to change the state. I mean, we could do that. We could make it so that the state changes only when we let go. But let's just do console. Whoops. Console dot log. We'll say complete. And then we'll just uh, let's see. We'll concatenate the value. OK, so let's save that. And then it should console log down here when I let go. So if I go and I slide, you'll see nothing. If I go up to, let's say, three and I let go, we get complete three. All right, so that's that's essentially all there is to the slider component. Okay, so that's it, and I will see you in the next video.